Hi, I'm Dana Cullen. I'm a general maintenance crafts worker with the city of Richland. I'm going to show you how everything works here on this TV inspection truck. Our job here at the city of Richland for the uh, wastewater division is we use these cameras to inspect the sewer and storm collection systems. We have two collection systems that we inspect. One is uh, wastewater and that's whatever goes down your toilet or your kitchen sink and your bathtub. And then you have storm water, which is uh, rainwater, anything that collects on the roadways and goes on the storm drains and out to the river. These here are uh, TV inspection camera options we have to use in various systems of the uh, city. They're set up to go in different size lines. So if you have uh, much bigger pipes, you can use much bigger tires. If you have much smaller lines, you can use this little guy. This one right here has a, an elevator built in. What that means is when the water level gets above the camera, you can automatically raise that camera to be above the water line so you can continue looking at everything that's in the line. In addition to the cameras, we have what we call a portable inspection camera. And what the job of this one is, is when you have a giant truck and big cameras, sometimes they don't fit in the lines at all. You don't have proper access. So we can take this guy in the backyard and put it down into a sewer pipe and get a little bit of a quicker view without trying to squeeze a big truck in there. How we usually approach this is we uh, pull the manhole cover. Then we gotta pull out a lot of cable because we're gonna go in a deep manhole here. a lot of uh, cable and rope around your feet. You got to be careful where you're stepping. Here we go. We're going to put the camera in the line. I'd say we're probably close to at least 17 or 18 feet. I would say our average depth of manhole is probably about six to eight foot. Okay. They don't get this deep very commonly, but you get over into the south area of Richland, it tends to get deeper. And then we have what we call a, a boot. And what this boot does is it goes around the wire and it protects it. So when the camera, when the wire is being fed into the, uh, the pipe and pulling back, there's a lot of pressure on that wire as it bends up on that pipe. So you put that boot in there and it protects that wire from getting cut up really bad. This is generally a two-person job. You have one guy out here who uh, installs the camera and sets everything proper. And then you have a person inside there that operates the camera equipment and is, is part of the control room operations. Now we're inside the TV inspection truck and this is basically the workstation. This is where we set up our camera for different uh, pipe sizes and options. So if you're in a six inch pipe, you're gonna use six inch tires you get into some really big pipe. You got the 12 inch wide tires. And each of these tires are a special fit for different sections of pipe. Right here we're in the control room of the TV inspection truck. And this is where we set up the camera's functions and program it to inspect everything we need to check out. This right here is the map that we use. We point at a line. We click on it. And then when you hit transfer, it sends it over to this software and it's right here. And then we have to fill out all this information to do a proper inspection so that when people go to look at this video in the future, they understand all the things that are associated with this line. What we're looking for is defects in the pipes. Sometimes there is uh, sewer backups and we look for defects in the pipe such as root blockages. Our primary issue seems to be grease. A lot of people dump grease down the lines and it solidifies. And what that means is it gets to be a, like a hard rock formation in the pipes and it starts to block everything and before long you have a lot of uh, sewer backing up in your pipes. Right here this is the control panel that operates our camera. You can run the lights on it. You can make the lights go dimmer. You can look at your backup camera, which shows you the backside of where it was in the manhole. And now we are looking at the inside of a sewer pipe. 
we can stop right here and we can look in the backup camera and you'll see there's our boot that we set for the camera line. So it helps you when you want to back up. You can see how tight that camera line gets. It's helping the camera pull out of the line. So if that boot's not there, it'll be really, really rough on the cable. I'm Dana Cohen. Thank you for taking a look at our TV inspection truck. If you have any more questions about our wastewater and stormwater division, please feel free to visit the City of Richland's website.